just too hot in the house. Why not head outside for breakfast? Because there's nothing like breakfast on the barbecue. I have to admit, I have never tried breakfast on the barbecue. I think this is an amazing concept because I know when it comes to summer, we try and have most of our meals outside, like yes. either on the front porch or in the backyard. Yes. So you're going to be serving up egg and ham cups. Yes, those are right there in front of you. And meal jalapeno muffins. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Which are like, they look like biscuits. They, they're biscuits. But yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what that's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but they're made in a the muffin tin. Cups, but in a muffin tin. <laughs> or, in nice. this case, little muffin tin. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I will take bread in any form and okay, give it to enough, me in, so I'm enough. all for it. So let's do the ham cups first, okay? Yes. So what I do is I make sure that I have my ham all cut in the same size. Yes. Make a little slit in it. What this will help you to do, now can you pass me that little red thing there? This? Don't say anything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, okay, I know. that's fine. And could you put that red thing around here? It's, yep, I'll Thank put Thank you this very much. <laughs> you're awesome, you're awesome. Never saw it. Oh, never, okay, so this is just so it doesn't stick, okay? Yeah. And then we just fold it in on itself. Nice. See, nice, nice. So you can just use deli, whatever yeah. deli meat uh, you, you have, You can use right? an atomizer or? as well. You could put a little olive oil in there. Yep. You could put some butter down in the bottom as well. We're going to use that thing one more time, okay? Okay, all right. And, all right all whatever right. you need it, just whatever let you me know. Need it, okay. I'll pull it out. And basically at this point, you You're take your... You're going to put your egg in it. Well, mini egg. They all are right. mini eggs. Yeah, they are. Because did you do you that want... on purpose? Yeah, I did, actually. Oh, because you want them to fit? I want them to fit. Okay. All right. Oh, make Those sure. little mini egg and their little <laughs> mini cup. In a, in a mini cup. Very cute. All righty. And what we do with that now is we would fill all of these up. Okay. Pop that into the oven. It's in there right now, so, like, we're really actually cooking here, so I like telling so people. So, would this really be a barbecue? Yeah, of course, because okay, what you do so... is just close your lid. Just close the lid. Close the lid. All it's right. going to turn into a little bit of an oven. Yes. And you want it at around 350 degrees, 380 nice. degrees on the high side. Yeah. It's going to take anywhere between 15 minutes or so. That's Look, nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, that's what great. What you can do is you can have the breakfast beer. A breakfast beer? All right. Now, I like now, the now, way now, you now. roll. Well, I know. Well, Coming you know, to your I'm house I'm on vacation for all the time. Okay? Yeah. I'm on vacation that's all totally the time. That's totally vacation so mode. So here, we're going to make those little cornmeal muffins, okay? Yeah. So that's going to do its thing right now. Okay. We're going to mix the ingredients. And what I did was, because it's baking, you got to be exact. So it's right. kind of important that you have a measuring cup. Get a teaspoon and a tablespoon yes. and work your way through it. I'm going to give the recipe, obviously, online. Cityline.tv for the recipe, which will be very exact and precise, and this will not be. <laughs> Just put whatever you <laughs> want in the bowl and But mix again, it. again, be very <laughs> careful, okay? Yeah. So as you're doing this now, you want to put in your wet ingredients. So dry ingredients in first, Okay. wet ingredients afterwards, yeah. because that way you can monitor as things. If it's too wet, you can add a little bit more dry, but you don't want to go too far, okay? okay. So at this point, I've got the cornmeal, which is very fine. Yes. My flour is in here, my baking powder, which is going to give me some leavening out of it. Yep. I will put a few more the other ingredients in here, some sugar and some salt. Nice. It's not really, you know, that complicated. Okay. Now, this is a bigger egg. Yes. All right. Good, because we can so go again, with bigger eggs for this. So again, just one egg for this particular recipe. Let's put it in my garbage. That's it? Uh, yes. Just one just egg. One egg. Okay. one egg. All righty. And then we're going to get in our melted butter. Mm -hmm. This is going to add even more flavor to the environment. We've got some buttermilk here as well. And remember, now I'm just pouring it into the middle because you don't want to go too crazy. So it's almost like when you're doing a pasta dough, you yeah. work from the inside, you work your way back out. Okay. So if it's a little bit wet and then this is a little dry, so we're going to add some more. So you're just sort of seeing how much you need I and believe, mixing it in nice I'm and I'm one gently. of those guys. I'm one of those guys, okay? Mm -hmm. I know that, uh, you know, I did pastry for the first two years of my career. Oh, did you? Because I had a wise chef tell me that if you want to be a really good cook, yes. do the baking because that's going to slow you down a little bit and it's going to make you follow a recipe. Yes. Super important. And you're going to have follow. technique, right? You're going to have a lot more technique. Chef. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a kind of a, he was a nice person. Yeah, no, that's a good little piece of advice. I'm sure everybody understands what I mean by that. But anyway, if you're watching, anyhow. <laughs> oh, can I get a little bit more buttermilk, though, please? Chefs, well, the thing about chefs, and I mean, even the sweetest chefs in the world, when you get in that kitchen, it is and it's hot, and you're and you're barking out instructions, things get serious. Yeah, and you got to pay right? attention, yeah. You have to pay attention, but yeah. it's like, I, I don't know, I kind of like seeing our sweet chefs on City Line, how they actually are in the kitchen, right? Because oh. it gets hot in there, it get, yeah, and it people gets. need to follow because you're trying not to poison anyone, and you want everything to taste good, and it's but, a big deal. But you notice how you really un you understand that concept, I get it. and you would think that most people would. Yeah. So I have a little bit of aged 
white cheddar. It's a good you call. You can use a smoked gouda, <laughs> mm -hmm. apple cheddar, and anything you want. And yeah. again, this goes into the mixture at this point, okay? Very you can nice. sprinkle it on at the top, at the bottom, but it's yeah. okay right now. So we're gonna... Yeah, this is when things get dicey with the whisk, right? Yeah, yeah. the whisk comes out yeah. and rubber, this? rubber spatula. Oh, that? Okay. As uh, Michael Statlander says, gummy foot. I don't know what it means, but I think it's rubber spatula. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, are you more? This is about the folding of the no, you're not gonna, yeah. versus the, the mixing, mixing. You're not going to whip too much. Okay. Now, it has it says jalapeno. Yeah, it does. But I changed it up a little bit. That's I changed fine. it to a Thai chili. Okay, let's I do said, that. I said, you know what? What the hell? Which I'm, one's hotter? Um, the Thai chili. Well, Thai chili on the Scoville meter is probably just a little under where the jalapeno is. But again, they're okay. both flavorful. They've yes. got everything that you need. And again, at this point, we just. Fold this together. And give it some nice color as well. Of course. Right? So green, red green, red, whichever one you want to do. Yeah. And what we would do at this point is we would get our. Now Little we know cup. we know what that looks like. Can you give me that thing again? Oh yeah, that thing. Here, All right. here. Just and like I'm gonna allow you. Can you? Yeah, just, 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 just do me the little spray. Do me the little spray. Do me the little spray. Thank you for so much. And I may have one of those spoons. Then I'm just yeah. gonna take that from you. There you go. And again. I have the batter made already, so last night that's so good, okay? Okay. And at this do you want me to fill a cup? Yeah, of course. You fill you as many as you want. I try. Now, well, do, you want it, do you want it filled so right, how, how right high? Right about there. Okay. Just under the lip is perfect, okay? okay. And right. then pop that into your oven or into your Barbecue. grill. Barbecue. Barbecue, yes. Yeah. And that's going to take anywhere between sort of 12 to 20 minutes, depending. Now, okay. it should be done on indirect heat. You don't want heat directly underneath it. Right. You want to turn one side of your barbecue off, the other side on medium to medium low. Got it. And then, at this point, close the lid. Yes. It turns into an oven, just like what's going on right there. Okay, so if I get the times right, this is between what, 12 and 15, did yeah, you say? Yeah, about and there. then the egg cups are between what? Yeah, they're still in that They're in that 12 minute range. Okay, well. so throw so they get at the all same throw, time. Yeah, exactly. And if you and like then, your eggs a little under, yes. then take it out. Yeah, no, I like it. You, I don't like it a little under. You're a little west of DNA. Uh, yeah, I want it cooked. I want it cooked all the way through. <laughs> I really do. Just cook it all the way okay, through. Okay. okay, and then you get this, guys. Look at the beautiful final. Yeah. Gorgeous. Cityline.tv for this amazing recipe.